Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome again. Uh, before we start, we have a disclosure. Uh, we had a power uh, somewhere. Uh, we were live, and uh, we got cut off. So we start again. It was a beautiful start, and now we restarted and again. We got cut off. So we're going with this event one more time. Uh, before we start again, uh, this is a, uh, a disclosure. Please be aware of the risk and the trading. Uh, before we got this power cut off, uh, we had um, a beautiful run on the NASDAQ, ES, and Dow Jones. I need to reactivate everything one, one more time. And, um, and uh, we will be with you in a second. For the ones who just arrived, I apologize. I had a, a power off for some reason, and uh, we had to restart all over again. It was a beautiful start, and then we got cut off. Uh, so we restarted everything again. Just give me one second, guys, uh, to set up everything one more time. Everything is flattened out, and we need to rearm everything. Thank you. Uh, as you, uh, we talked about it uh, before, we had this uh, cutoff uh, power. Uh, all the uh, swing trading where um, I showed you that I hit the targets earlier today. So I'm going to start the swing trading right now. Now I started the scalpers one more time. Now they are starting again. And we uh, allowed me a few seconds to just uh, restart um uh, rearming those auto trades and uh, we will continue uh, i apologize for this inconvenient and um now i'm in um, a little mess just give me one second Uh, as you see earlier today, we had, uh, before the, uh, the cutoff, the lights cut off, uh, we have, um, we still have a lot of people don't know that uh, we are on a new link. So it allowed me to send the link to the other guys. Okay, uh, for everybody, welcome again. And uh, I apologize, I had a shortage uh, somewhere and the, the power did go off and the internet did go off, everything. So 
uh, we have uh, flattened out everything and uh, actually we had a beautiful start this morning and I showed you all the swing trading uh, hit the target uh, on Monday uh, on Monday uh, for uh, members only uh, I want to uh, I want to cover again uh, uh, the swing trading and uh, we've been uh, doing I've been uh, we have a new setting for the swing trading and it's doing extremely fine so uh, hopefully on Monday we will be covering the swing trading one more time and um, uh, and it's been a very very consistent when uh, we covered how to add those filters so we will be covering those on Monday and of course for the ones uh, cannot uh, come on Monday we will be recording uh, this uh, session again and um, with the auto trade we are going on a full speed the new auto trade and uh, for the ones who don't know that uh, we are coming out with an auto trade uh, that can uh, for the ones who cannot see the volatility in the market this one here uh, we will be going with it live on YouTube probably um, it could be as early as next week. Uh, sometimes we will be running uh, the new auto trade live uh, front of everybody, probably by next week or an early week after, and then uh, we will secure it and uh, send it out to the traders. Um, at the moment, Uh, we have 852 ticks uh, from the entry signal and uh, this is not all day long this is based on the last entry and target and we are uh, for the ones that were here before we had this problem with the power uh, we nailed uh, over a thousand dollars on the uh, two contracts on the Nasdaq we hit uh, around uh, 800 on the ES and we got around the uh, um, 800 on the YM so on those three did extremely well and then the uh, now we have to restart all over and we have to restart uh, the life again so uh, for now those uh, Nasdaq ES down zones they are already hit the target and right now if you notice here uh, for the ones are new to our system it's a very clear very clean and uh, it does not require um, somebody to know how to trade because everything is a plot on your chart from your trading stop to your entry price to the sell price to the buy price it's, it's nothing you have to do those two yellow lines once this market gets between those two yellow lines this means the shorts is over whether it's an ES Nasdaq Dow Jones uh, DAX uh, doesn't matter those are a dangerous zone where you do not take a short trade anymore. That is going to cut off a lot of your trades if you are doing some manual trade. So right now we have already hit the targets and uh, for the ones who are new here, uh, uh, we are running three different automated trade. We are the, the signal, scalpers and the swing trade and the swing trade I have not activated yet. I need to reactivate it after we have this power uh, shortage. And uh, now they're going to be run from zero again. And then uh, we can see how they will be running uh, as well. And um, if you just allow me a few minutes to reset everything. And um, at the moment, there is no trade. We are waiting on the new signals. And uh, if you allow me just a few minutes so I can also set up uh, my stuff and uh, I want to show you this one here, uh, the one we talked about for the members live traded. Uh, this is uh, right now on the first hour in the trading. This is uh, based on one minute uh, for the ones uh, we talked about. Uh, for the traders, uh, we will be probably doing this very soon, but um, 
uh, this is uh, the the project for the members and uh, right now it was on the just the first hour it was 4000 and uh, this is the one uh, we were uh, covering on mondays Just allow me a few seconds, please. Uh, I need to check up on my uh, my trades. <laughs> and um,
you know, I love the swing trading. Uh, we just, uh, after the crash, I just started uh, the the swing trading. And uh, now we we just started with uh, the swing trading uh, again, and I will show you the trades. Actually, the swing trading is very good to start at 9.30 when the market at the high, uh, when the market uh, open, and then you get your money and get out. As long as this market is moving, that swing trading is not going to miss a trade. The things is how to manage the auto trade is the biggest challenge, how to manage auto trades. Uh, right now, immediately, you can see there is 270, 230, uh, 400 on the DAX, and those are the swing trading. Uh, Uh, Vito, what you're trying to say, every member have the same stuff. Is There is no member have one thing and another member have uh, one thing. It's all of us uh, the same. Uh, don't get lost, sir. You know, what you have, everybody have, Vito. Uh, are we are we with that? Yeah, oh, yeah, on the, on the members, yes. Uh, on the members, I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, okay, uh, for the members. Let me see, where is uh, the members uh, trading? Um, you know, I'm sorry, I got my hands full sometimes. Yes, uh, for every member, we accept. Yes, sir. For every member, we accept. For our members only, not to the public. Yes, sir. um we are waiting on a new signal actually guys i'm sorry uh we missed uh we didn't miss it but uh, the power we can have it got cut off and um so we're um we are looking for a new signal on the cl once the inventory come out in a few minutes I love you too, Vito, but I wish you were a nice girl. You're a boy. <laughs> if you change hair color. <laughs> okay. I know you go. I had the worst nightmare on the last trip to Italy. Um, uh, Vito, you're from Italy, and I had a uh, one time. It was uh, three years ago, I think. I lost. Uh, they stole my wallet, my passport, my credit cards, my money, uh, and then. Um, and the subway, you know, and um, they were very fast. I didn't see it, you know, and uh, I lost everything. And then I was sitting in the Rome train station dying for a nice cup of coffee, and I didn't have money. Everything was stolen from us. It was a very bad experience I had. Yeah, I, I will never visit Rome again. That's for sure. Uh, guys, uh, we we are waiting on the CL inventory. Give it a few seconds. And uh, Vito, the, when uh, when we. When we were in the center uh, station, uh, in the center station in Rome, um, because you know you got those gypsies in Italy, they they steal everything, and um, they say take a line, and it was a huge line in uh, Rome. Uh, uh, tourists, they've been mugged like us, 
and uh, we were number 28, 29, and it was a big fat policeman sitting. He don't speak English, and uh, he just, uh, I mean, you know, he's wearing a uniform of a police, but he has nothing to do with the police work at all. And uh, the guy cannot speak English, and he gave me an Italian paper to fill out. I said, you know what? Thank you. And uh, then we have to to beg for money to go back home. Yeah. Oh man, what a what a trip! I never forget that. Uh, oh i've been in venetia and uh, uh i have a family in padova padova is uh, four kilometer five kilometers from Venetia. I love Venetia. It's very nice. The first time I was uh, in Padova, they fixed a rabbit. I ran away. Yep. Yeah. I'm not going to eat a rabbit. But I like the wine. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. I have a big family in Padova, and then what they do, uh, Vito, they... Um, each family have their own section, and then they sit down all together, eat uh, at night. And I, th I, I thought it was really cozy. You know, they have their own rooms, their own bathroom, their own uh, kitchen, and then they have one big place. They share it, they come out at night, and they eat together. I thought it was very nice to do that. And then a big bottle of wine, a huge bottle of wine. You mix it with water and you drink it in the evening. I thought it was very cozy. But Italy, it was a uh, Rome, it was a nightmare. Jesus, I'll never do that again. <laughs> talking about Rome and Italy and being mugged in Italy, but there is nothing to do, guys, here at the uh, ES, so we'll wait. Uh, how far you are from uh, Padova, uh, Vito? Thirty minutes, okay. Uh, guys, uh, once it gets between those two yellow lines, there is nothing we can do. So we're waiting on a new signal on this one here, and now we have uh, restarted uh, the uh, the swing trading. So let's look at the swing trading. Uh, we started uh, after we have this uh, breakdown with the power. Uh, we restarted the swing trading, and uh, we're gonna be sharing some of the trades already are in the trade and uh, this is exactly when uh, the power got cut off and uh, we are showing a minute 
And uh, this is the YM base on the one minute. And uh, uh, we want to see uh, some other ones I will show you. This is your NASDAQ on the three minutes. It's already nailed 600. And you can see what time the first trade started. Uh, the, while we are waiting on the signal, we cover the swing trading. And uh, next Monday, I want to cover uh, the swing trading. We started again. This is when we had uh, at 10.26, immediately right into the profit. And uh, this is a $1,000 uh, on the three minutes NASDAQ. Uh, there is plenty where they come from. Hold to your horse. Uh, this is your CL, five minutes, 1,600. Which one we haven't covered yet? Uh, Dex, uh, Dex lover, okay, sure. I'm going to start enjoying this three minutes with the new filters in it. Uh, 1,004. All of them started the same, guys. 1026. All of them the same. This is your uh, DAX. Let's see, Mr. ES. This is uh, your ES, one minute. Did we leave anything behind? Uh, this is your ES. We're waiting on a new signal, so we're goofing around a little bit. Uh, the scalpers are doing okay. So this is your ES, your DAX, your CL, YM, and your NASDAQ. Those are the swing trading folks. And uh, you can see CL 1800, 1800, those are the three minutes, five minutes. Where can you go wrong with that? If this market moving, we are nailing it, guys. There is nothing. If this market not moving, all what I can say, welcome to trading. I wish I can move the market for you every day, but I cannot do that. And um, if this market moving, we cannot miss a trade. And actually, if this market moving, the swing trading can out trade uh, any best trader sitting around yapping, you know, so uh, give me movement and the swing trading will kill it. Uh, okay, let's see what else we have. So guys, I mean, actually all of them here. Uh, 1,300, we started at 1025, uh, 470, CL 2000, and a DAX 1,600 on the first trade. I have a screen, it's a blinking, and I think it's about to go out.
This is very nice, uh, very nice trade, sir. Very nice trade. Thank you, Basharat. You, uh, uh, Basharat, saying is a is a great system. You've been having the system for two years, uh, but uh, the problem is how anybody can run it. That's it. So uh, there is not much on the on the uh, price action on the signal. There is no new signal right now. So we are just uh, waiting on a new signal. We already hit the target on the ES. We already hit the target base on one contract. Uh, the, which it was before this, uh, uh, the entry price was uh, 80, 0.650, nailed 76 takes. Uh, NASDAQ nailed 316 takes. Uh, YM 147 takes. And then, um, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're all here. So if you are trading uh, the ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones, you should be uh, a little bit over a couple thousand. Yes, uh, that's why Basharat, you see the swing trading uh, on the CL right here, 2000, 2000, 2000, ES 2000, NASDAQ, uh, I mean, you know, they all uh, did uh, very well. Uh, it's very easy. I, I personally like the DAX uh, uh, on uh, one minute. Uh, I like it because there is a stability on it. Uh, but you can use the three minutes and the five minutes. Uh, the three minutes and the five minutes make more money uh, on it. 
but uh, I, I find the one minute for you, uh, Jose, uh, you test the one minute and the three minutes and the five minutes and see which one is fitting your budget, you know, because when you are using the three minutes and the five minutes, you are widened a little bit. Sometimes you get widened with your stop loss, and, you know, and maybe on the DAX, you cannot handle the stop loss on the three minutes and five minutes. I strongly advise you to run uh, the one minute, sir, and the three minutes and the five minutes and see which one you like the most and then you go for it, you know. That's why we leave the option to the trader. Uh, not everything is what we say or we do uh, because you can do better. You are taking your time to, to concentrate on one strategy. We have so many strategies I need to keep up with. Uh, as an example, <coughs> we are using um, on the scalper, Jose, uh, one minute and 150 takes. Uh, we have some people using five range. We have some people using um, 244 takes on the scalpers. But uh, it's not my type and uh, to use one day takes and one day range and one day rank bar and one day because that is showing weakness you know when somebody show me there is a new signal on the gold when somebody show me the es on a renko bar today and tomorrow he's showing it on a, a, a range and the third day on a line break that's mean he has no stability he cannot show the same time frame two days on the road so for me, I use the scalper uh, one minute and 150 ticks. Does not mean they are the best, but uh, we've been using the one minute and 150 ticks for many years and I'm staying with it. But for you, you can use, uh, as an example on the DAX, you can use 288 ticks if you want to. It's very good uh, time frame. the 288 ticks on the DAX. You know, you can use it. Uh, but uh, for me, I want to show the minutes because if the system working in minutes works on anything, if your system does not work on one minute, it's not going to work on anything, you know, and a lot of traders don't know that, you know, that's why you see a lot of auto trades. They avoid the one minute and they show you all kind of weird looking charts because they cannot do it on one minute. The one minute reveals the, 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 the true identity of that indicator or that auto trade. And if you cannot show me that indicator or that auto trade works on one minute, that's mean all, all, all what you're going to say about it is rubbish. Show me the one minute. Stability, not by mistake one day made the one minute. No, show me stability on the one minute and then we will talk. Uh, uh, just use, uh, uh, Danielle, just uh, 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 delete it and I will send you a new template and you delete the template, I will send you a new template and uh, you shouldn't have any problem because you have the system. I don't need to log in. I send you the template, delete your old template because you got it corrupt and I will send you a new fresh template and you just put it in and then it works. After the live uh, webinar, I'll be more than glad to send you the template. Sure, Daniel, no problem. Well, you're welcome. We are waiting on a new signal, folks. So there is nothing we can do waiting on a new signal.
uh, for the YM is the same story guys there is nothing uh, came into this uh, between those two yellow lines once it comes in between those two yellow lines I don't I don't want to call reversals today uh, once it comes in between those two yellow lines you see there is no more short trade let me show you here when it comes in to between two, those two yellow lines there is no more trade so it works every time that's why I don't, I'm sitting and uh, not uh, calling the trade or not saying anything about the trade because there is no way I, I want to go short in here and there is no way I want to go short in here and the same story on the Nasdaq I think let me see and look folks uh, the same story on the Nasdaq it's between this dangerous line and once it gets between these two dangerous line uh, there is no more trade it's finished it's over there is no more trade in here the two yellow line there is no trade and uh, this two yellow line there is no more trade so there is no more trade to the short side normally uh, mm -hmm. what we do we we take another chart and I look for the reversal but today I was a bit busy because uh, we had a loss of power I missed on um, this one here but normally once we finished with the, the daily target once we hit the target we have an entry and a target once we hit the target I usually use the Renko bar when it's out of the band, I have another system here. It given me the reversal. This is a perfect reversal on the ES. I didn't have the time today to, to recall it. But uh, this one here is out of the band, support line, double support. And it is very genuine reversal. But right now, the ES come into a really problem at 27.93. So I didn't have time to call reversals, but uh, you can automate the trade uh, to the target. And if you are not interested in taking a manual reversal trade, you don't have to. But we usually can pick up a reversal trade once we hit the target and we are done with the target. It's like now we are sitting, we are done. And this is one thing, it is the, the advantage of it. Uh, we know we hit the target. We know this is a dangerous area. Now we're not doing anything. We're waiting on a re-entry again or on a new signal. Can you imagine, uh, guys, how many trades you saved yourself for not dive into chop market? You see? Once you have those system on your chart, you know exactly once you hit your target and hit this yellow area here, uh, there is no more trade. So your hands of trading. Uh, this is the advantage uh, that you're not getting in the trouble, Danielle. When you are doing this, you split in the, the, your trade entry target dangerous zone. And, and this way, and in between, we have a fib lines. That's it. And it is extremely accurate. We had the entry. The two train stops are your train stop on your auto trade. The train stop is a, a fib, flooring fib. Uh, the number one is a minor. The second one is a major. Very simple. Here's your target. Now this market, we can be re-entering the market somewhere around on the ES, somewhere around 2.79450. This is uh, the re-entry, and the second re-entry, it is uh, 95.75. Those are on the pullback re-entry. We hit the target. We know there is no more short trade in this dangerous area. Because once you take a short trade here, your your chance winning that trade is going to be 1 out of 10 or 2 out of 10. So we don't want to mess it. 
mess with that. We just want to wait on the pullback if we want to, and then uh, re-enter for uh, small trades. And if you don't want to bother your head with it, you just wait on a new signal, and uh, and you are done. You then you take the new signal. Right now we are two thousand four hundred fifty uh, forty eight seventy five. Uh, based on the last entry signal and <coughs> we are waiting <coughs> we are waiting on uh, giving you a new signal uh, before we log off uh, today so we're hopefully we can get you a new signal uh, very soon and uh, let me show you something here uh, we started again on the YM at uh, what uh, 10 22 because i have a power uh, shortage and then everything then we started the auto trades and now one trade on the swing trading ym one minute 570 market order not limited order and it's done and now they all start now closing and meeting their target all the daily targets are 500 folks they're all 500 <laughs> So there is uh, nothing special about it. But if the market going to your direction, it's going to stay on that trade. Question. Oh, thank you, sir. Samuel Phipps is the best in the world. I will say a thousand times. Uh, okay. They're all happy with it. They're all happy with it. And they are very affordable. So let me see. On the CL, we're still on that trade. And all of them started at uh, 1025. We have 2000 on this one. Uh, and the Nasdaq hit the target. How long it took us to do that? Half an hour. All the, uh, we restarted the swing trading, all of them around the 10.23, and they all start taking a trade. And now they start closing, all of them. Here's your ES, folks. One trade, seven, seven, five. They all start closing half an hour later. You know, I think I have one uh, monitor is going to be out. It's blinking a lot. 
And the worst things I do is uh, having different monitors. I like them to be all the same. It's not about one monitor. So it has to be the same because they're all the same. It's a Dell monitors. I always use Dell monitors. And this one here probably is out of date right now. But uh, I have in my other office uh, uh, the Samsung, the, the big wide screen, the round ones. But uh, I, I always liked uh, Dell monitor, even the new Samsung with this curve. Uh, and the I don't I mean it's okay it's nice, but I always like uh, Dell monitors for trading and uh, I have one is a blinking, so probably is going out this one here. It's a blinking like a Christmas tree and it's bothering me. So we're waiting on a new signal. There is not much going on, guys. We're going to wait till on a new signal, does it? Uh, uh, any of our traders have a question about trading, not support? About trading, guys. It's not about how to do this and how to do that. Anything about trading? Uh, I don't understand, uh, Vito, what you're saying, sir. It could be. It could be. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know. It could be. Uh, this is, uh, what is it? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, Fernando, once uh, those as an example, if you if you want to, you can do that. Uh, you can, um, once uh, the ES, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones gets between those uh, two yellow lines, sir, 
this means we have a reversal. I mean, you don't need to be technical uh, if you don't want to be technical and look uh, for a reversal. Uh, the auto trade can drive you to the target and done and over, but it's a shame not to take advantage of it. Uh, actually, sir, uh, this is one of it. You're right. It's like uh, you can copy the signals from the scalpers or the swing trading. Once, like as an example, this ES now just closed, made $400 on that trade. So once you see the scalper taking a trade in those area, you just copy that trade and keep going with it. Yes, sir. You can do that, Fernando. No problem at all. Actually, uh, Fernando, a lot of times, uh, uh, if you wanted to reverse the market, uh, you look at your uh, uh, B scalper and you see the trade and uh, you can copy the trace and this is uh, uh, also for the other guys once you hit your target bend and you are between those two yellow lines that's mean there is no more trade then when you see the scalpers start taking long go along with it yes you can do that you don't have to use your brain it's all there you know now you can see from the scalper, can we take advantage uh, and um, combine two auto trade and we, we manage it. This auto trade here is giving you, we have a new signal on the YM. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here and bubbling my mouth. There is a new signal on the uh, YM and uh, uh, daily target. Uh, the entry price is a uh, five, six, eight and the uh, target is uh, I'm sitting laying down on my chair. It's a 6663. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, we, we got a new signal on the YM. And um, where's my charts? And now we are coming out with a new signal, guys, on the ES. Please follow us on the sim. We're not allowed to call a live trade for you. Uh, this is the new signal on the YM. We just had it. And we should have a new signal on the ES as well, guys. Very soon. I'm so glad we got a new signal so we can get something going. And uh, we should have the NASDAQ as well. We are about to come out with a new signal on the ES. Uh, look out for uh, on the ES. Very important on the ES, guys. We have a double resistance right now, but uh, the signal will come out on your market analyzer. And then we have a projection uh, at uh, 97, I don't know where is the signal is going to be. 
but uh, I will take a long above the 97. I'm sorry, guys. 90, yes, 97 even. Uh, anything above the 97 even, you take a long trade at nine, 97.25 if you want to, or 50. That should be okay on a sim, please, because we're not allowed to call live trade for you. So 97.50 is very good in entry, but we should have a new signal uh, coming out on a, uh, an, uh, an ES right now as we speak.
Oh, yes, sir. Uh, I saw the new signal. Thank you. Thank you for your support. I don't know what to do without you, uh, Tony. Uh, there is a new signal on the ES. He saw it. On, uh, uh, and uh, here is the ES. Uh, a new signal. So... You know, uh, Tony, what did I say? You need to take the trade and probably the new signal. You see, guys, this is your $35 zones. And I said, if you want to take a trade long, you should be on 97. You see that? You see that, Tony? So the signal came out. I knew the signal will come out somewhere around there, but there is a projection at the 97 level, you know, you see that? Uh, so, of course, it's gonna, the trend is uh, strong, it's gonna able to, to, there is a little pullback and it's coming back. But for a guy, if he's not auto trading, uh, can you, you know, Uh, I said 97.50, you got it right, sir. 97.50, you got it. So to, to save the agony, you know, Tony, 97.50 does mean you are catching the trend, okay? Uh, the new signal came out at uh, 96.50, but I can see the projection at 97, so we put it 97.50 long. Yes, sir. I mean... Yes, sir. Put a limited order, Tony. Nine. Yeah, there we go. You see? So once we break, Tony, uh, this uh, projection, we are home free. We are home free all the way to the 2825. You see that, sir? Uh, 2825, we have a little problem right there. And then another problem we have on the way to the target is 80425. And this is a lot of ticks for an ES. This is a lot of ticks. Uh, did you catch uh, the signal on the YM? <laughs> ah, Vito. Thank you, sir. Uh, Vito wrote, uh, Sam, you don't have to convince in no one. Your system is good. <laughs> I know that. But Vito, listen to me. Uh, this between the line when you are auto trading and uh, the technical side, I'm talking about why bothering with it. Before even the new signal came out, Tony, I knew the genuine entry it will be like what Tony said, I said 10 minutes ago, uh, 97.50, that will be the proper trade. Bashara, did you catch the YM? Super, sir. One contract or two contract? Uh, uh, Basharat, uh, the, the problem is uh, with the YM right now is sitting on, look, they're all connected somehow, uh, Basharat. If you look at the YM, it is uh, uh, 595. This is the, this is a resistance line. It's a heavy resistance line. One, that's okay. This is a heavy resistance line. You see that? Now, if we see this uh, ES, Basharat, break this uh, projection at 97 level, is right above this line here, this small projection here. That means that trade is going straight to the target. 
okay? Somehow this market is always connected. And I guess we will have, keep your eye on it, guys. We should have a new signal on the NASDAQ very soon. And it is open. Uh, I don't see anything on the NASDAQ like uh, the ES projection. Um, I don't see anything holding the NASDAQ once the signal come out, which is going to come out very soon. Keep your eye on the first column here. And uh, you will have the new signal. And you see? You see how they work together, Basharat? The minute this ES bro uh, broke that projection, this one is a home free. You see that? You see that, sir? So, Basharat, uh, you have the system in your uh, computer. One thing about the YM, ES, and NASDAQ, I hear sometimes a customer calling me, I only trade the NASDAQ, I only trade the ES. It's irrelevant. For you to trade the ES, NASDAQ, or Dow Jones, you have to have all three on. On top of that, we have to have the 30-year Treasury bond to see which direction it is, because they are connected. So now we have broke that uh, ES, and uh, don't let it scare you. Now we broke this ES. Now we're going to see some movement. And we're about to have, we're waiting on a new signal on the NASDAQ. And then they're all going to go ahead and get up again. There is a new signal on the 6E. If somebody interested in it, I'm not trading the 6E. There is a new signal on the 6E. Uh, entry price uh, 925. And a target is uh, 6035. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, sometimes, I'm sorry, guys. We start at 10 o'clock, and I'm trying to come as early as I can, 10 minutes, 20 minutes before the 10 o'clock. But um, sometimes all those signals, they are coming around 9 o'clock, you know. And uh, by 10 o'clock, probably you're, you're done, you know. So I'm not to trying uh, to, but um, for the ones that just follow us at 10 o'clock, uh, you're very welcome. We're sharing our system for free with no cost, nothing. But uh, yes, there is uh, some um, uh, good trades before we start uh, uh, our webinar at 10 o'clock. Yes. Very good. Very good, Basharat. He took this one here live. Uh, he's one of our customers. For the ones who are following us, uh, we're not allowed to call live for you guys. So we'll be on a sim. There we go. There we go. Well, Uh, be careful, guys. Uh, Tony, be careful with uh, the 2825. It's like a clock. The 2800.25 is the true average price. It's not uh, one of those uh, uh, normal indicators. It's the true average price between short and long. And watch this market when it comes in to the 2825. It's all plot it on the chart for you you don't need to be sitting in a room learning how to trade everything is there for you 
Watch this 2825, folks. The ES is going to have a problem in here. Watch it. Watch the 2825. This is the key between long and short. Once we cross the 2825, there is absolutely no more short trades. This is, is gonna, uh, how are we gonna simplify that? Once we cross those one here, you are okay to take any pullback re-entry, any pullback re-entry because the whole attitude on that ES is going to change. Any pullback re-entry above the 2800.25 is gonna be, be a damage. Look, 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 look guys, look. Wait. Look where the ES stopped. Is it magic? No, it's not. It's math. Oh, um, we got a new um, signal. Did the NASDAQ show up a new signal here? I didn't pay attention. Anybody saw new signal on the NASDAQ? We have a new entry on the NASDAQ at uh, 71.25. Look what happened, folks. You see what happened? A camp. Thank you, Tony. You're my best support. You see, Tony, what happened to the 28, 25? Now the system is recalculating for you right there. 91.75, you see that? Once it hit it, immediately recalculate for you. Now it's right here. 91.75. You see how this market hit it? Luma. You made Five hundred twenty to twenty two. This is a live trade. Is it on the YM Luma? I love you. Thank you. Is it was it only on the YM, ma'am?
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then ES. Okay, super. So we're done for today, Noah. She took that trade on a uh, Nasdaq and ES. I'm the best. Don't let uh, my wife uh, hear you saying I'm the best. She's start laughing. I'm always pissing her off <laughs> somehow. <laughs> No, not pissing her off. But <laughs> yes, you're done for today, Luma. You're right. Thank you. Protect your profit. Now there is a pullback on the YM. Uh, Basharat, here there is uh, uh, the resistance line become a support. If you notice where I have my two uh, stop losses. So the the pullback, the, the resistance become a support. So now we are waiting. I mean, we knew, predicted exactly when the true average of price. I told Tony, I don't remember the number was, yes, it was 22800.25. Now, Basharat, if you are still on that trade, the, the resistance become a support. And this is a major support. If you notice how I did, sir, my trailing stop, I hit the trailing stops from my auto trade on below this line. You see that, sir? You see that, Luma? <laughs> Yesterday, when I was using the fully automated to trade, I was a crippled. I was really crippled. Uh, this is why I like the ATM, because this is not a normal auto trade. I can move my train and stop i can move my target i have a freedom uh, with the with the full automated trade you just look at it you know and um, so now we are at this line here i don't know what will happen but you have the freedom when you are using the atm absolutely absolutely you have the freedom so i like that Now the ES is going up again. One thing, guys, also you can measure. But right now, look on. Um, if you don't know where's this market going, you have a, a three monitors here. They're monitoring the buyers and the sellers with a six different high time frame. Okay. So if we notice there is some are on a lower time frame and a higher time frame, you can see on the first one here is the buyers over the sellers, buyers over the sellers and a buyer a little bit over the sellers. That can help you indicate if this market going, uh, which direction this market is going, if it's a go, this is really important uh, to to figure out what direction this market is going. And um, if you need a second opinion before you take a trade, it's always good to have as a second opinion uh, to see. If it's the buyers over the sellers or the sellers over the buyers, that will help you uh, uh, indicate uh, the direction of that market. No, you're done, uh, Luma, for today. You should not be trading. You made, what, 500-something? You're done.
uh, sure we are uh, Pablo uh, I don't have uh, the MetaTrader uh, 5 uh, set up but uh, sure I'll be more than glad uh, to help uh, to cover it but because you know Pablo I I got my hands full here with the scalpers swing trading teaching all this but uh, sure I will be more than glad uh, sir to uh, uh, go with it and try to activate it and plus I'm keeping my eye on the testing the new auto trade but uh, sure I will try to set it up and cover it uh, for life trading of course honestly sir to be honest with you uh, this uh, platform on Ninja on um, the system we have on MT5 um, and uh, the new auto trade uh, we are coming out with I really don't care about selling them you know so and uh, you cannot find them on the web you know so not everything we have is on the web but um i will try my best sir sure Folks, it's 11.41. We had a wild ride today. We have a power lost and uh, we had to restart uh, the... For the ones that were earlier before the power lost, uh, we had uh, over $1,000 on the NASDAQ, over $1,000 on the ES, over $1,000 on the YM. And then when we restarted the live trade, uh, we uh, again on the YouTube, uh, we did uh, extremely well and uh, and I was hoping to get you signal before we log off today, and we did. And that makes me happy to everyone out there, helping every trader out there, and it's not costing you any money. Uh, that is nice. We're not collecting any uh, uh, any emails, any name, any money. We're not. Basharat, please tell me you're still on that trade. Tony, did you jump out of the window or are you still on? Oh boy. You see, that's what is nice about it. Now I can extend the target. You know. Maybe we can get a little bit more. There we go, $1,000 on the YM. And uh, and now we are coming out. Yes, sir, and there we go. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know about you guys, but that sound is uh, better than sex. I, uh, honest to God, this, <laughs> that sound with the three ES and NASDAQ <laughs> they're going up. <laughs> This a gentleman, Tony, is not even a member. He just has been uh, following us on the YouTube every day. He nailed on the last trade 300. He's good. And uh, Basharat, are you still around? And Ben is out. How much Ben? Oh, 
Oh, sure, sure, uh, Pablo. No problem. Uh, are you? Are you? Can you hear me, Pablo? Okay. <laughs> Jose said it was the best joke of the day. <laughs> Is it true? I mean, is it true, Jose? Uh, Pablo, can you hear me? Are you on a uh, live with us? Let me see. Uh, Pablo, are you with me, with us here? Uh, can you hear me, sir? Uh, yes, uh, Pablo, let me set you up and uh, I will cover uh, the MT5 uh, and uh, just let me try to get situated and I will be more than glad to help you with the MT5. Yes, sir. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Danielle, for your call. Yes, sir. The only thing, Danielle, we need to find out sometimes when the market is uh, really, you know, chop. Things like this, we cannot do anything about. But uh, we're, uh, I mean, uh, the system is in front of you. 
on your computer, you have the system, so you know how it works. What it does, uh, Danielle, need a little training by yourself. You know, the signals are there on your screen, and uh, you have the system. You just need to be a little bit, when you, in any given system, you have to be cautious in the morning when you turn on your uh, Ninja Trader to see how is this market moving today. It is the most important. Sadly, when uh, guys try to auto trade, they don't look at the market, they just look at numbers. At the end of the day, they have a good day, they say, is a good auto trade or is a bad auto trade? That's not true, you know. It could be the market movement, you know. Of course, there is a lot of lousy auto trades out there, without a doubt. But uh, I think we did a very good job with the auto trades. But does not mean they are holy. Uh, they, you still need to look at the market. And if you notice, because you have the system, Danielle, at the, around 930, we had uh, 1,000 on each one of them as well, you know. So. Guys, it, it's uh, 12 o'clock and uh, I have a lot of work. Uh, let's look at the scalpers. The scalpers 2600, 1800, those are the swing trading. We started around 1025. CL 1700, DAX, all this. This is the swing trading. And um, if you like us, please give us a thumb up. That's, uh, that's how much it costs you. And. Um, the rest is free. And uh, I want to say uh, thank you very much to everyone. And I uh, will see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And uh, please give us a thumb up. And uh, it's, it's been a pleasure serving every one of you today. And uh, we apologize for the shortage I had earlier today, so we had to restart all over again. And then uh, we will uh, see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. I want to say God bless you all, and uh, see you tomorrow, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Bye for now.